Well, today we are talking about a problem that impacts as many as 900,000 people in our country. Deep vein thrombosis or DVT. This is basically a blood clot in a deep vein, typically in your legs, and a lot of times it's big enough to block blood flow. In today's Your Healthy Family, a doctor says this can happen to anyone at any age, but there are certain risk factors. Every day, at least two to three patients head into Lumiere Cosmetic Vein Center in Cape Coral for a deep vein thrombosis screening. Not something to take lightly. Dr. Joseph Cipriano tells me many things can cause a deep vein thrombosis. Immobility is a big one. When you're sitting still and you're not moving as much, your blood has a tendency to not be mobile. Like any time your blood isn't mobile, it wants to clot because it's its natural process. So think about people that are on a flight or a long car trip, sitting still for a long period periods of time that clock can form easily just because of the fact that we're not moving. He also says people who are overweight or obese have a harder time with blood return and are prone to DVTs. Patients that have had surgery on their knees, hips and orthopedic procedures where they can't move as easily, they're more prone to it. So doctors doing these procedures have to prescribe what are called anticoagulants or blood thinners to patients to prevent a DVT. If Dr. Cipriano detects a DVT in one of his patients, I immediately start the patients on anticoagulants. Coagulation. We have anticoagulants here in the office. I will give it to them. They will take it in front of us. We'll document that they've received their sample and they've been immediately anticoagulated. The patients are on these blood thinners for three months. Now let's talk about the symptoms of a DVT. Swelling in your legs, redness, pain, difficulty walking. But here's the thing. Dr. Cipriano says many people who have a deep vein thrombosis don't even know it. They didn't immediately see signs because blood was able to circumnavigate the clot. In fact, he says he did a study on this years ago. So we were just taking random ultrasounds of people's legs and looking for DVTs. Our incidence of DVTs that we found were upwards of 35%. And that was with people having no symptoms. On their own, DVTs are usually not life-threatening, but he says they can become dangerous without you even knowing. This is where the vein or venous problems can be very insidious. They smolder in the background. When this vein's clot breaks free and moves. It's no longer labeled a DVT at that point. Now it's become an embolus. And that embolus or blood clot can move into your lungs and cut off blood flow and oxygen to your lung tissue. This is called a pulmonary embolism or PE. So tomorrow I'll show you how a PE can happen and the signs to look out for. For Your Healthy Family, I'm Lisa Greenberg and that story is coming up in tomorrow's Your Healthy Family.